Hey fellas, it's Leon, Southern Style Pressure Wash. Need to bring y'all an update on where we're at on these uh, proportioners, uh, these manifolds and all. So the problem we're having, guys, is finding the one inch metering valves. So what I'm going to do, this is what I'm coming up with now. So you can't find the one inch metering valve. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the game a little bit and put this where y'all can see it. So this is what we're going to come up with now. All right. So being we can't find the one inch metering valves, this is what we're going to do. And this will give you all the chemical that you need. So we're going to go with a four port until the one inch comes in. You guys has already got the one inch ordered. If you want these, let me know and I'll make them up for you, but they're gonna work just as good. So you got your one inch line coming in here, goes up through a check valve, just like the other one. You're gonna have your soap coming in here. You're gonna have your three quarter inch chemical coming in here. So what we did to get enough chemical is we add the half inch chemical line. So now when you're coming in with a one inch water flow coming through, you'll use this one mainly washing houses and so forth. So when you get ready to do a roof or a real black driveway, you can turn this valve on a little bit and add more bleach to it and get the mix that you need. So this is what we're going to have to do temporarily. Uh, and this will be mounted on the plate just like these are. And it'll look, it'll be identical to what we already have. It'll have the back plate like that one. But the only difference is now we're going to have to go with the four port. So, but anyways, that will, this is all, the valve that you need for your soap work fine. This valve will work fine. The reason I'm using these valves, guys, now we can go with a half inch metering just like that over here uh, but the only thing is money wise you know you'll have to pay extra for two of these and if you want two of those metering valves we can do that but i'm doing this as an example to show you guys so we can cut back on the cost so anyway you'll get all the mix you need so you'll have two chemical valves because you cannot find the one inch metering valves at this time going to be late next month before we're able to find the one inch medium valves and so this is why we're doing it this way so we're putting two half inch chemical uh medium valves on here so we got this medium valve which is going to be more expensive than this one but again if you want that metering valve over here we can do that too because we can get the half in i mean the three quarter we can get the three quarters, so we can put you two three quarters, excuse me. So we can put you a three quarter here and a three quarter there, but you don't need all that. And the only time you're ever going to use this is when you're going to do a bad roof or a bad driveway and you really want the hot mix, then you have the option of doing that. So anyway, guys, always innovative, always trying to figure this thing out as we go. So they threw us a monkey wrench with all the uh, one inch metering valves. So... When they throw you a monkey wrench, you just get in there and you work with it and you fix it. So this fixes it. So again, you got the one inch coming in. You got your uh, quarter inch soap line. You got your three quarter inch uh, bleach and a half inch bleach. So that will give you more than 50-50 mix if you need it. So that's where we at, guys. Uh, those, of you, those of you that's already got them ordered, let me know if you like this, you want that. We'll go with that. If you want two of these valves, we put two on here instead of the uh, Pentair valve. Uh, some of you don't like those, and I have never really had much issue with them. Uh, they work, always work good with me. So, but throwing this out there, guys. What are you saying, Doug? Inlet side of high pressure. There is no inlet side of high pressure because what happens is this feeds your uh, main water line and all this comes out and this flows back into your gas roof pumps. Just like it's right here, guys. Let me show you. 
here's my bypass hose, my three quarter inch bypass hose. See that? So now it comes, here's your water. Here's your one inch water line coming in. You see, I keep my water line cut back. So if you'll reduce that water, starve it just a little bit, then it pulls your soap and your bleach a lot better. And if you want to open it back up, you can. Uh, but I get plenty of flow by doing that. Now, everything on this one's all one inch. One inch, one inch. That's half inch because that's soap reduced down to a quarter. You don't need much soap, so that's fine with that. This comes out, comes around, comes right here into your gas roof pump. Now, guys, there's one more thing I'm going to show you. And I'll be doing this here in a little bit, showing you what I'm about to do. Now, if you notice, this is my main bleach line here that goes into my bleach tank. So what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to put a three-way ball valve right here. And I'm going to run another water line to my big water tank. So it's going to be a banjo ball valve like this. So in the afternoons, all I got to do is switch it over. And then it washes out the pump in the back. And it washes out this also. So that's just tip of the day right there, guys. Anyway, there you go. So that's what we got right now. If y'all want it, just let me know. Those of you who already got it ordered. And we will get you taken care of. Appreciate it, guys.